Here's the Dart XL Extreme Enhanced version. Now with uh, an iNav Matec F411 uh, WSE board. I've got a panning camera up there as well. Um, it's a bit messy inside, but I can show you, I guess. This is how I've got it laid out. This uh, receiver's just sitting there at the moment. I've got the video transmitter out in the wing. Um, I could put the receiver out there, I guess, but so far I've found for my flying range has never been a problem. So that's pretty good. Um, I've done a bit of trimming, uh, manually trimming, so I've got it flying straight and level in manual. Uh, check that return to home works, angle mode works, all that stuff's good. I don't need to do an auto trim or an auto tune because I'm happy with my manual settings. Um, but yeah, let's just go for a little uh, FPB fly around. Let's see how it feels. There's a bit of wind around. That was a crazy launch. Put in angle mode. Goggles on, switch to acro, and we are flying. Cool view at the side, little uh, micro lollipop in the wing there. This is lovely. Bit of a side wind there. See, getting pushed sideways. We'll fly out this way a bit. Current 8 amps pushing into the wind. Ease it back a bit. Looking out at the river, nice view isn't it, over the industrial estate that gives us all our interference at this field. All right, let's try to return to launch, we can have a look around. There's a decent amount of wind. It's been kicked around a little bit. Uh, camera is a micro eagle. Video transmitter is my usual e sheen. Um, 200 milliwatt, nothing special. 4S3000 in the nose. BMX track down there. I'm pretty slow, I should do a maximum current test, shouldn't I? We're up to 30 amps. Better not push it much further than that. Let's punch it again. 74, 80 kilometers an hour. It's not super fast going into the wind. Oh, I'm using the uh, Hall sensor gimbals on my uh, Tyrannus QX7 too, which feel really nice. Okay, punch it coming home, 120, 130, 140, a bit of a tailwind. So this is a good, stable, cruisy kind of FPV experience. Oh, 
bring him in now. RSSI low. Return to launch. RSSI low. RSSI critical. So that's a, a, I'd call it a pleasant cruisy uh, FPV experience, working very nicely with the little Matek F411 WSE board. Uh, the GPS is the little BN, BTN BN220, that's the little one without the compass uh, that comes with the co-pilot, works perfectly fine with this. Current, uh, there is a bit of wind around and sort of uh, it would be probably 10 to 15 knots up high I think so. Um, enough to make quite a difference. Uh, probably needed uh, seven or eight amps pushing into it to, to move along. Um, calm day, you could fly around on five amps, I think. Uh, you might notice I've had to repair the wingtip here. Uh, one thing with this biodegradable foam is that it's not quite as tough as some of the other foams around. And I actually did, I did a decent landing on the wingtip there and it just cracked it basically it didn't actually come off just cracked it so i've had to hot glue that, that back up a little bit but otherwise it's um, performing really nicely but i really like its flying characteristics really smooth really cruisy uh, great camera platform thanks for watching <laughs>